Hi, once again, this is Stuart from OutdoorHydro.com, and today we're going to learn how to calibrate a pH meter. Now, from time to time, your pH meter is going to lose calibration. Um, oftentimes, what happens is the sensor here at the bottom needs to be kept moist. Uh, sometimes it's not kept moist if you have it uh, stored for a long period of time and you don't take care of it. Uh, another thing is a lot of people tend to use RO water, uh, reverse osmosis water, uh, to to wet this for some reason. However, tap water works much better. I uh, would not recommend using the RO water for this. Uh, but anyways, this pH meter is about a year old and if if you've had something for about a year like this, it, it usually tends to get a little uncalibrated. Uh, like right now, for example, I put it in my tap water, which normally registers as a 7, uh, and it came up as an 11, so I know that it needs a little bit of calibration. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Step 1, rinse under some water in your sink. Step two, we're going to take some water and some dish detergent, put it in a little plastic cup, and we're just going to kind of gently swish it around in there to get off any excess residue that may be on there from your nutrient solution or anything else. I would not recommend using uh, either a glass or a metal container because the little probe inside here is made of glass and it shatters very easily, so if you have a plastic container, that would be ideal. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this probe cleaner right here and we're going to we're going to wipe down the little bulb and the wick here. You can also use some uh, some detergent like you'd use to wash your dishes, uh, just a very mild uh, mix of water and and palm love or whatever it is that you use to wash your dishes and never use your fingers to touch the wick right here as uh, that'll destroy it from the oil on your fingers. So you just want to take a toothbrush and just gently scrub it down. Just real nice and soft and get off any excess nutrients or gunk or whatever it is that, that messes these things up. Just kind of get it off the bulb there. Step five, we're just going to rinse off the bulb just to make sure there's no excess detergent or cleaner or anything else left on it. Just run it under some running tap water and you should be good to go. Now our next step is going to be to calibrate it and the way we do that is to take a solution which we know to be pH 7 and pH 4 and we're going to we're going to put our pH meter in each one and then manually calibrate it to 7 and then back down to 4. Um, if you don't want to use the uh, pH 7 and pH 4 liquids you can use something else as long as you know from experience that it is in fact has a pH of uh, 7 and a pH of 4. Uh, if you have water that's a perfect 7, then go ahead and use that instead of buying this. But this at least gives you a foolproof uh, way of measuring it. Okay, so first we're going to put our meter in, the pH 7. And as you can see, my reader, right now the pH is uh, hovering around 9.6, so I know this one definitely needed calibration. So I'm going to press the calibration uh, button here by holding this down and then that'll allow me to manually calibrate it. So here we're going to calibrate it. I'm going to dial it down to 7 and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so now it knows that this water is pH 7 and now to calibrate it down to 4 once again, we're going to hold our calibration button until the calibrate part comes up. And then we're going to set it to 4. And we're going to let it go ahead and calibrate. And there we go. So now if we turn it off, turn it back on again, dump it in the water, you'll see it's at a perfect 4. Now let's try it with the 7 just to make sure that that one stuck as well. And pretty close. We got about a 6.9. Oh, there we go, 7.0. So now the device is perfectly calibrated.